Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 25th, 2021. Uh, if you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And uh, yes, it has been uh, a very bad, you can say, three last days for the cryptocurrency market, especially also Bitcoin. We went all the way up towards the highs here at 57,000 or 58,000, give or take. And then we fell all the way down to 34,600, give or take. At this point, uh, the 20 exponential, we're just at the 20 exponential. We tried to rally it then, uh, uh, rally today, and then we broke down again. So at this point, technical indicators, they are actually very bearish at this point. Um, if the 20 exponential were to break, that will open the door to the 50. And that is probably as far as this will go at this point. We have the previous highs here. And also last time we were at the 50 uh, moving average um, this offered massive uh, support. So we could see something very similar to this, where we basically gradually go towards the 50 moving average, uh, the 50 moving average around the 40,000 level, 41,000, give or take. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for the Bitcoin in this market. And you can see that the 61.8 is right here at the 50 or 40, uh, 40,000 uh, level we are hovering right at the first Fibonacci retracement and uh, if that were to break we'll go to the 50 and 33 and then to all the way down to this one I would be surprised if the uh, 50 were to break but if it does then we could head all the way down to 30,000 and probably also the 200 moving average this is a market that has in the past broken down quite significantly only in one week 2017 it, it lost half of its value in only one week and if we look at the weekly chart we can see that we probably will witness something similar to what we saw here we will have three weeks where we gradually go towards 40,000 or probably even lower than that but probably 40,000 that is where we will see buyers come in and this will go back to the upside so let's look at ethereum so the 50 moving average has proven to be uh, supportive yet again we are technically yes what do you can say we did pierce the, the, the 50 moving average yesterday and today we tried to rally and found that the 20 exponential was acting as major major resistant and that is not a good sign and that could mean that we could see this market go even lower if you look at the fibonacci retracements for this market so we found support here at the first fibonacci retracement if that breaks if the 50 breaks and this break then we can go to the to the 50 at 1200 and then we can go all the way down to around 1000 and uh, yes 1000 would be a very round figure and you probably see a lot of people start buying this there this market is in a, it's basically in a uh, in a in a free fall if you look at this here but we have seen that also in the past we had a major pullback here but this is absolutely enormous fall so we went from 2017 all the way down to uh, 13 uh, uh, 1350 uh, before we found uh, some buyers coming in and pushing this back up so the resistant uh, because the 20 exponential is resistant here uh, we could see another test of the 50 and break below that that could open really the door all the way down to 1000 so let's look at ada or cardano so this has been much more bullish um compared to to ethereum so this is basically the competition to to the other cryptocurrency and uh, as you can see, the 20 exponential has uh, offered a lot of support. People have been buying this uh, significantly when it has hit the 20 exponential at roughly 0 0.8488. We're trading at 1.0049 at this current stage. 
but if bitcoin falls it, if ethereum falls then it will base they will basically drag all the other cryptocurrencies with them so so i do expect this to test the 20 exponential again and it will probably also test the 50 moving average if bitcoin and ethereum start falling if you look at the fibonacci retracement for this you take it around here we can see that the first fibonacci is here 0 0.76 Next is here, 0 0.64, and then we have the 50 here at 0 0.52. So, yes, it will kind of depend on the, what happens in, the, in Bitcoin and so on. If 20 exponential breaks, then that will be a tidal wave to the downside. Technical indicators here are fairly all over the place. So, yes, let's look at Litcoin. So this cryptocurrency has been absolutely hammered the last few days, but the 50 moving average has offered a massive support. But if that were to break, we could go even lower. So we could drop all the way down to 100 if, uh, if the 50 moving average breaks. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracement here, we can see that the reason why we found resistant support here is that the first Fibonacci retracement is right at 160. Eight. The next one is here at 144, and then we have the third one here at 121. So if this one breaks, then we'll head all the way down to the 200 moving average or the $100 level for this cryptocurrency. So yes, it kind of depends, and it will also depend on what basically happens with uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and so on. Last time we broke down, we did rally up to the half of this breakdown, and then we broke down yet again. We could see something similar to that. That basically means that we'll rally up towards 200 and then break that back down towards 164, retest it, and then go higher. But a break uh, of the 50 moving average, that could be a tidal wave to the downside. So let's look at Neo. So this was well, one of the hardest hit uh, cryptocurrencies out there in these last uh, few days. It went from 50 to 54 all the way down to 30. And then we rallied again today to 33 and uh, 43. And we settled just above the 20 exponential. Technical indicators, they are either very bearish or are flat. Um, but same thing here. We will see this most likely test the 50 moving average at the roughly at $28, uh, dollars, give or take, around $29, $30. That's in this area here. That is most likely where we're heading to before we go higher. Break uh, of the 50 opens the door to the 200 moving average around $20. So let's look at from. Yes, the Tron fell all the way down to the 50 moving average uh, yesterday at 0 0.0374. And then today we rallied up towards the 20 and that proved to be resistant. That's not a good sign. Technical indicators, they are either flat or bearish at this point. So uh, uh, basically a pullback at the 20 here almost guarantees that we'll go back towards at least the 0 0.04. So, um, yes, this could be really, really uh, nasty for this uh, cryptocurrency because if the 50 breaks, we'll go all the way down to the 200 at 0 0.0298. So this market entirely has been extremely volatile. Most of these cryptocurrencies have um, doubled, tripled and uh, uh, in only the last um, few weeks and move, uh, momentum like that to the upside will only um, have a breakdown similar to this. Everybody was that were paying attention to GameStop. This is exactly the same. Moment, uh, moves like this to the upside, parabolical moves, they will always end with massive fall to the downside. And you will see it uh, if you look at the RSI levels. If they get to 80, 85, 90, 95, that is just a massive scream to basically get out of the market because... Um, people are just buying it's, it's similar to uh, to uh, to uh, buying a ferrari and getting a skoda uh, or a lada or what it is it is uh, people will basically start dropping this like a rock and that's basically what also happens here people will take their profit and then they will see this market fall and then probably re-enter it 
at some stage down here in order to get it as cheap as possible. While rest of the people that did not sell, they will basically be caught here and probably lose their stop loss because, yes, it falls so quickly. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.